Morning. Morning. <laughs> We're off. We're late. Let's go. Right, so here we are at Birmingham New Street. We are off to meet a prospective client. Not a pitch today, but actually a pre-pitch. We always think it's really important when we're asked to go and potentially work with a client that we actually get and go and meet them regardless of where they are. So today it's been an hour and a half drive, a two hour train trip, um, and that's worth it. We're not even going there to pitch or present anything. We're merely going just to meet them, to uh, actually physically shake their hand and actually do get to be able to see and touch and smell and interact with the product. So important, so, so important. Not enough agencies take the time to do that. It's always, we can do everything via, via Zoom and Teams. We can do that to a point, but here at Evergreen, we love to get out and about and actually physically meet the people. So they were amazed. They were like, you're gonna come all this way? And we thought, yeah, we actually are. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. So we've got a train to catch, leaves in 10 minutes. We need to get to it. Right, we've got our coffee, let's go. We do just that. No, start that again. And that is again in the home and <laughs> all in on home and garden and home improvement. We've just signed. <laughs> That's our train. <laughs> that is our train. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. We're off to Leeds. There's no internet. I'm trying to get some work done. It's not happening. Uh, what have we got? About an hour and a half left. Uh, off to sunny Leeds. Never been. Darren's been. He's a regular. New territory for me, this. You're getting plenty of work here. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm really not. <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Right. We're going to run over. Right. Now it's dead straight. Welcome to Leeds. Yes, we've come all the way up to Yorkshire. I'm loving it. It's my first impression of good. Darren's a uh, these are all familiar, yeah. familiar uh, surroundings for you, aren't they? Yeah, many times. Today, we're, as I say, meeting this, this prospect, and what they are interested in from us is two things, paid media and creative service, which just so happens to be the two things we offer, so that's fantastic. Um, and with our paid media specifically, one thing we always do whenever we're talking to a prospective client is we always get access to their data. So we always want to have a really good look and understand of what they're doing currently, what campaigns they're running, what's working, what's not. That is so important to do because it gives us a bit of context as to how they're getting on as a business, how reliant they are on, the, on each channel. So we've had a look at the data. They're primarily running, they're running a lot of paid search. So think Google ads. They're not doing Bing, which we actually think is a really good opportunity for them. And they have expressed an interest in doing YouTube, which again, we're doing lots of that. So that's very much a string of our bow, so it's something we're hoping we can um, encourage them to do and showcase how we can do it and give them some examples. Um, they're doing a lot of performance max, they're doing a lot of search, um, so again that's our bread and butter, so we're going to be all over that and we've looked at it and we've come armed with some ideas and some different thoughts on what's working, what's not, and then beyond that we are, they're particularly interested in, well paid social as well, so they're doing a lot of meta, they're spending a lot of money on meta right now, so we need to have a look at that, well we've had a look at it, we've got some ideas again on what's working, what's not, and we need a bit of context from them in terms of why things are set up the way they are, why the creative is being done, and they themselves have said in the conversations we've had pre coming to meet them in person, which we're doing today, that they feel their creativity is lacking. So that's one area where now we've got our creative services just means we can really provide that true end-to-end -end service when it comes to supporting brands with their paid, paid search, paid social. Not only can we come up with the strategy and the roadmap and the vision and the plan, we can then obviously create the campaigns and manage them and optimize them and really scale them, but we can also now provide the creative services to all of the you know, still imagery, motion graphics, video, whatever they need, whatever we work together to deem is required to really give their ads the biggest impact and get the greatest possible ROI, ROAS, whatever you want to call it. So they've said really interested in paid search, really interested in paid social, and really want to have a good chat about the creative. Hence why I brought Darren with me. Not like just a the job for a creative service. Well, there you go. As if, you know, it's yeah. as if it was planned. Um, but we, so we've got that Darren here is going to be talking about all the creative, and then I'm going to be talking about all of the, the paid media stuff. It's a dream duo. It's just going to work. And I can see we're almost at their offices now. So let's go and have some fun, shall we? Right, let's go. Here we go. Of course you are, because frankly you're driving fewer eyeballs to the website. If we're driving for fewer people to the website, there's fewer people that are going to think, and you know, 
make a note of your domain and, and you know bookmark you and come back and have you in their browser history and all of that good stuff. So the year is definitely there. It's just the implementation yeah. of it. I think that's we're just missing that sort of yeah. final tweak because we never got. So we've just come out of that meeting. It was the best part of three hours, so definitely worth the effort. Imagine doing a three hour meeting online, just wouldn't happen. Went really, really well, which um, was really good. Um, actually had a really good time. And what was fascinating in that interview was just how much, how keen they were to talk creative, which was great. Ideal that we had Darren with us. It was absolutely amazing. Darren was amazing. I have to give this man a shout out. He was incredible. He was so good, um, but it was just great. We had, we just really got into it and Darren sort of just live what kind of went on their website and we were critiquing stuff and we were sort of giving them ideas. And again, you know, a big part of when we come and meet prospects, we don't sell. We just don't go for the hard sell. As I say, today was not a pitch. Today was a meet and greet. It was an exercise in just getting to know the people we may end up working with. You know, hopefully, fingers crossed, because we'd love to work with that brand. Such a cool brand. Um, and such an amazing product. We've actually got some samples that we've taken away f uh, with us, which is just great. We can show the rest of the team when we get back. But just fantastic, and they really engaged with us, and we could just chat through ideas and options and just really go to town with you know, what we could do, how we could do it, the value it could add. And it was great because we were able to give them so many ideas and things that they maybe hadn't thought about before. Um, right there in that meeting, you could see the cogs were turning, you could see the ideas uh, and stuff, and they were going, oh, we like that, and we hadn't thought of that, and there's a great way. So we've come away with so much more of an understanding about their brand, who they are, who they're marketing towards, and crucially, their, their business plans, and the value that we can add to this business. So we can now go away, put together a fantastic proposal, a pitch, crucially a plan for their business, which we wouldn't have been able to do half as good a job and make it half as um, informative and valuable for this prospective client had we not taken the time, taken an entire day out of our, out of our diary to come and meet them. It just backs up why we love coming to meet our prospective clients. Absolutely love it, fantastic. Now we've got a four hour trip back. Let's go. So we're off the train now, we're on the motorway, almost home. It's been another fantastic day, such a great meeting. We're still buzzing from it. Um, just so good, as I said, to get out and meet people. It's just fantastic. Uh, what I thought I'd do is just give you an update on some of the other things that are happening right now, because my days, do we have a lot going on, some really exciting things happening. The first thing to update you on is that we have recruited. We have added someone to the team, someone we're really excited about. They join us in a few weeks time, a real A player, into the Evergreen team, bags of experience. She's been doing paid media for a long time, a real expert in her field, um, and we just liked her instantly. So she's coming on board, she has just signed up, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, you'll be finding out who that is uh, in due course, uh, but another real A player, another real asset added into the Evergreen team, which is amazing. I love finding good people. Oh, it's one of the best parts of my job of running an agency is the fact that you get to bring together such amazing, talented people. I just love it. Uh, so that's amazing. We are, we're off to the European Search Awards in a couple of weeks. We're finalists for no less than six categories. We've been once or twice before and always walked away empty handed. So fingers crossed we can uh, change our luck and walk away with the gong or two. That would be uh, very nice indeed. We're off to Prague. Uh, you've got the likely lads are going. So there's Darren, Conrad and myself. Um, we're, we're going lads on tour, and uh, <laughs> Darren's in no car with me. So that's going to be good fun. We're going for a couple of nights. We're going we're gonna to film. We're going to film one or two tea talks over in Prague. How good is that? That's going to be good fun. Uh, what else is going on? Well, we just want another client. Yes, another home improvement brand. What is it with home improvement brands? They are loving Evergreen, and to be fair we are loving them, which is great. So we've just signed those guys. They've started uh, this very month, which is amazing. So um, we're, we're just getting all of the, the sort of the groundworks, the foundations in place before we really start to kick their brand on into the summer, which is great. So that's gonna be um, a lot of fun for the team that are working on. Um, I'm out doing more speaking than I've ever done. It's great. I'm speaking at, uh, at one, uh, a digital agency summit uh, next week as I'm recording this. So by the time this comes out, I'd have done it, I, I, I suspect. Um, but that's coming up. We've got a few other speaking gigs lined up for the spring, summer. It's good. So we're winning clients, we're recruiting. I'm out there speaking. 
We're spending half our lives on the motorway, going up and down, meeting our prospective clients, which is good. So yeah, so there you go. You've joined us for yet another little jaunt out into the wilderness as we get out and about and bring you behind the scenes through, through our Evergreen Uncut series. I hope you're enjoying these. Let us know in the comments if you are find, if you are enjoying these, if you're finding them useful, so you get a bit of a, a behind the scenes on what it's really like running and growing an agency. I'd love to know. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.